I'm here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm working the gallery position, so I'll catch you all when I get to Brazil. Let's get into the room tour. We're gonna start in the bathroom because it's a really big size and I like it. When you first walk in the room, to the left is the bathroom. To the left, there is a shower. You have a toilet as well as a bidet. And then you have this really nice large mirror. The sink and the counter. And then you have a huge bathtub. We do have an adjoining room. I haven't had one of those in quite a while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my locks and stuff on there and that should be fine. But let me take a look at it because this one doesn't have a deadbolt on it. So let's take a look. Interesting, there's like a divider there. So we're gonna close that right on up like that. And I put this latch right back on there. I have two beds. Nice size TV as well as a desk with a chair. I do have a mini bar and there is a mini fridge in here that has a whole bunch of stuff in there. I have an espresso type machine and then I have all the stuff in there for that. I'm actually gonna call the front desk and ask them, should I take this stuff out of here and put my things that I brought in the mini bar fridge or will they bring me up another? We shall see. We have a chair. And then this is the view of the room from the other side. And then here's the view out of my window. Look at all the tall buildings. Now my person did tell me that if I got a corner type room, that if I walked in my room and it felt hot, immediately go downstairs and see if I can get another room because she said that those rooms are harder to cool off just because of the location and all of the windows, but I don't have that. My air was working really well when I walked in. I'm actually gonna turn it down maybe one degree so it can be pretty chilly because I don't wanna take a shower. And then, you know, usually when you take a warm or a hot shower, the room heats up. And then this is my window situation. So good amount of window, but not a floor to ceiling type thing where I have to worry about it getting too hot in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down one degree. I think that should be good for right now. And then we have a really nice size body mirror right here as well when you first walk into the room. And I did not show y'all the closet, but here it is. This is a good size closet. I can actually put my bags in there if I wanted to, but I do have a luggage rack. All right, so let's talk about my flight. So as you all know, I'm currently in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is my very, very, very first time in Brazil. I'm really excited about it. I've actually had the trip on my board for about a week. I just got back from London the day before yesterday and I had this trip on my board before I went to London and I'm squinting because I'm trying to make sure I'm telling you the accurate information, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Now I've been off for the past two weeks. I went on vacation, that vlog will be coming out soon and I'll make sure I'll link that at some point in the future and then I took a week off and I was like oh I probably should go to work as a flight attendant I wanted to work two trips back to back because of the pay period but I was like I don't know about working six days in a row transoceanic type flights and I looked and did some research and asked people about things I should do the biggest thing that they told me about the area is here at our hotel they like the gym it is currently 12 11 p.m. I think I should go ahead and exercise now because if I don't exercise now when I come back I'm not going <laughs> but multiple people, they told me I like the gym. I was like, oh, I might live by the pool, but everybody said the pool is small and I could kind of see it when I was on the elevator coming up and I was like, mm. Also, they told me to be careful when it comes to my cell phone because they have this big thing with snatching phones. When we briefed before we got on the aircraft to leave Atlanta, the speakers told everybody, be careful with your cell phones. Don't have it out trying to record or if you need an Uber or a Lyft or something like that. I'm not sure Lyft works here, but they definitely said Uber. They'll just come by and snatch it 
and that's it. So just be careful about that. I want to try to get as much footage as I can today out and about, but I want my cell phone. So yeah. While I let my phone charge to 100%, I'm going to be calculating the distance of different things and kind of mapping it. My van time tomorrow is at 7.45 a.m. And like I mentioned, it's currently 12.13 p.m. We landed around 10, a little bit before 10. But you know, the deplaning process, we flew on the Airbus 330 aircraft. It was a 300 version and the flight was full. I think it might have been two open seats. So it took a while to deplane. We went and cleared customs and all that. The ride took a while. I honestly don't know quite how long the ride took. People told me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I think it was closer to like an hour and some change, maybe an hour and a half. Usually what happens is when I'm on the van ride, coming to the hotel, I'm looking out the window and it's harder for me to doze off because you know it's a new place. This is how my window looked on the ride over here to the hotel. So I'm just like, this is setting me up to doze off. I had a good nap, so that's why I'm not like, right now because I slept. I woke up right when we were turning the corner to come on the hotel street and I think maybe six-ish minutes after we pulled off from the airport. So I took a decent nap. It's hot here. I was working in the two left position and when they opened the aircraft door, like I felt the heat say whoosh. <laughs> on me and I was like okay yeah it's pretty warm here but I did check the weather of course and I prepared I'm gonna be solo exploring today so I don't want to be out past dark my crew gave me a lot of tips and tricks of things to do and FYI my crew is very nice very senior I heard some 33 years 32 years I actually had one of the 30-ish years flight attendants ask me she was like court how do you know how to work the galley I'm like I've worked it like five six times now just because it goes so junior a lot of times and she was like I've been here 30 whatever years she said and I've never worked a galley the whole time she was like watching me prep and set up and stuff she's like just just how do you know how to do this I have a lot of notes in my phone that I've read but I think I mentioned way back in my Lima blog you can watch as many videos and read as much material as you want to until you're actually in it doing it a lot of times a lot of stuff doesn't click I'm gonna stop yapping I'm gonna go ahead and get into my room routine change go to the gym and I'm gonna catch y'all in a little bit dressed and ready to start heading to the gym. This is a new workout set that I'm wearing. So this is a good test to see if I like it to wear to my other workout classes, my cardio classes that I like to do back home. Now the jacket is not a part of the set. It's just like a random jacket that I got. Make sure I'm covered up when I go out and about. The bra top as well as the leggings are from this company called NYX. And I like NYX a lot. They have a lot of intimate wear and leak proof wear. And this is what it looks like. So here are the pants. I'm usually a solid type person, but when I saw this, it really caught my attention. It does have some type of compression to it, so I like that a lot. And then the top is like a traditional style type bra, so I won't be showing y'all the full thing, but it does give extra support in this area. So if you're doing cardio type activities, I think this will help, but we will be testing it out today. So let's head to the gym. All right, so I just got off the Stairmaster. Yes, this gym has a Stairmaster. And they have this kind of a aerobic studio type room. Now I see what my person meant. This room has glass windows from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And this is like a sauna in here. So I wanted to come in here and stretch, maybe do a little bit more working out, but no, I can't do it. I cannot do it. It does have a lot of equipment in here, as well as over here. They have a water machine, which I've already filled up my glass bottle, but I can't do it. Maybe right here is not, because you get the air coming in from the actual gym, but I don't want to be in the walkway either. There are a lot of people in the gym, so I'm not going to record right now. I'll probably come back later when it's not as many people and show y'all how nice this gym with all of the equipment, because this gym was super busy when I first walked in, and it's calmed down a lot now, but I'll show it to y'all later. All right, so before I left the room, I ended up putting my food in the hot logic and then I got an apple from the gym. Yes, they had apples there. And they also had a trainer. So I need to ask more questions about that because if I can get a trainer when I come here, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my apple. I'm gonna eat my meal. I'm gonna shower, change, and then I'm hitting the streets. 
All right, Fly Crew, I am dressed and ready to head out. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a red jumpsuit and some sneakers and I have my fanny pack. Let me go ahead and put that across my neck at this moment. I am not gonna walk. I'm actually gonna take an Uber over there, so let's go. So I placed my order and I ended up getting a caramel ice cafe latte and I got vegetable milk. So hopefully I'm gonna like that. The only other option they had was soy and no lactose milk. No lactose milk still doesn't sit right on my stomach and I'm not a fan of soy. So we're gonna try the vegetable milk. You know, new experiences. I am number 24. They're currently on number 21. So they do have a screen to let you know. And then they also have a upstairs seating area and a little bit of seating inside. Upstairs was a little too high. Now, I'm sitting outside under umbrella, taking in the scenes and the sounds here. So stay tuned for my silky iced coffee. This is the picture that I sent them. You scan a QR code and you send it to WhatsApp. <laughs> And they send you a little message letting you know it costs a little bit more money. And this is what it looks like. I'm shocked that it looks this good. Wow. Like even my hair. Look at the twist. And then you could tell I had something on my lips. I had on red lipstick. Very cute. I am back in the room. First things first, it was super hot out there. Skin is super oily. So let me go ahead and dab some of this oil off of my face because I've said this a million times. I have oily skin. So it don't take much for me to start looking extra greasy. I did not get to go to Batman's Alley or Batman Alley or Deco Dead Batman. I just lost daylight. I'm happy I got to go to the Liberdade area, go to the selfie cafe. That was super cool. Like I totally was not expecting that picture to come out that well. Also in that area, I just started walking around and I stumbled upon a store, actually several stores, and also a street market. You all know I love street markets. I just love markets in general. And I wanted to go to the municipal market, but I kind of feel like I want to save that for maybe when I'm with someone. It is a Saturday, so I did Ubers in between places, and it was taking my Ubers as well as taxis a long time to get to me. So that's part of the reason why I miss Batman Alley. So I was actually on my way to Batman Alley and the sun was going down. So in the Uber, I changed my route back to the hotel just because I'm not trying to hang out in the alley at night, especially not by myself. Let me show you everything that I got today. So this little store had really great blankets and rugs. And when I walked by, the designs were so pretty. And I was like, what are these? I really want to get a rug, but the rug size I needed, I'm not really trying to carry that. That was going to be too much. So I opted for a blanket. So let me show you the blanket first. Look at the pattern on it. The person that I bought it from, I didn't quite catch her name, but she did give me her business card for her store because she has a storefront. She also has social media. She sells online too. She was like, you sure you want this size? And I was like, yes, I definitely want this size. I want whatever size that this pattern comes in because she didn't have a smaller size for this pattern. Folds up really small. Therefore, I'm able to carry it easily. I could actually probably put this in my suitcase if I fold it a lot better. It also smells good too. From the street market, I also got these rings. This lady, had a crystal shop or crystal pop-up or whatever you want to call it and she had a bunch of crystals there I have a ton of crystals the one ring that I had it was a clear stone ring it fell on the floor and it ended up cracking I went through and I tried to find a clear one but she didn't have it so I went through and I just tried all of these on my ring finger on my right hand and these are the two that I got I can't remember how much they cost I also can't remember how much the blanket cost but I did a quick calculation on Google before I purchased anything and if it was a decent price I went ahead and got 
Yes, Sao Paulo has a heavy Asian population, specifically Japanese. In the Liberdade area, the Japanese area, they have so many different stores. So I went in one. Y'all know I love grocery stores. I had my Google Translate app out with the camera so it could show me what this stuff meant. But it actually worked out because on the back, a lot of this stuff was in English so I could read the ingredients. Looks like coconut and grapes are on here. We'll try it out. I also got a pineapple drink. I got a peach drink, a lychee drink, and then I got a sparkling mango drink. I'm super excited to try this sparkling mango. I love mango. And then I got some Mexican potato chips. Now I am starving. I need to find something to eat. I was trying to decide if I wanted to venture out and get something to eat, but it's dark, so I don't wanna walk. I was looking at some Michelin star restaurants to try, but I probably should have done that before I came. But as I was telling you all earlier, I worked a three day TO before this, then I had one day off, which I had things to do. So I didn't have a lot of time to research what to eat. But I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can eat in the hotel or restaurant. I've heard good things about it. Plus, we do get an airline discount. I'm gonna go freshen up a little bit and then head downstairs and I'll catch you all in a little bit. I have freshened up a bit, but I knew it was something I forgot to tell y'all. After I was done in the Liberdade area, I was sitting on like a little curb area and there was this couple sitting next to me. So the couple was chatting with each other and then I was just sitting there minding my business and I was waiting on my Uber and I see maybe a mother or a grandmother with two little boys there walking by. As I turn my head this way, I see the mother grandmother with one boy, but not with the other boy. The other little boy stopped to the couple that was on my left, stuck his finger in the mail of the couple's ice cream dessert, put it in his mouth, and I was just like, at the same time while the little boy was sticking his finger in the dessert, his grandma and mom was like, oh, get over here, get over here. And then she started speaking another language that I didn't understand. The couple, they started laughing. So I felt comfortable to laugh because it was just so absurd that it was funny. The mother, grandmother turned around. She was like, I'm so sorry, but their taxi was there. So she like scooped up the little boy and ran him over and they got in their taxi and they drove off. And we laughed about it for a good five minutes because it was just like, he kept eating his ice cream dessert because it was like one of those large cone things with a huge waffle cone in it. Then it had like gelato and all this other stuff on it. And he just peeled off the area that the little boy stuck his finger in and threw it away and he just kept eating it. Now I'm having a snack before I go eat because that's just like the person I am. So let me go ahead and get out of the room because I'm almost starving at this point. much cooler in this room right now and that little aerobic fitness room I was telling you about because clearly the sun has gone down. Such a nice area, such a nice gym. It's only one person in there right now so that's how I was able to record. I'm finally at dinner and I got a red fruit tea and I specifically asked for it without sugar. Wow, okay, this is great. It has like fruit. All of this at the bottom is all types of fruit like strawberries and different types of red fruit. All right, so here's my food. I order an extra side of beans because I am hungry. It came with white rice and this is the fish of the day with the shrimp. I really feel like I'm still gonna be hungry. I tried to order more food and he said, maybe just order some beans to start, but I know me and I knew I was hungry. So I'll probably be ordering more food. We shall see. My server was amazing. My dinner was amazing. And they gave me this little treat as I was headed out of the door. It's Brazilian cocoa is what she said, or maybe coconut. I should translate this to know what I'm eating. I'm still gonna eat it anyway. And that wasn't enough food. So the chef complimented everyone in the restaurant with one salmon croquette. It was like cylinder shaped. I was trying to order it cause they were really good. And my server was like, it's okay, I'll bring you more. He bought me like three more. So really nice, very lovely hostess. It was a good day. Had a great time here. I definitely have to come back. Now I need to shower and go to bed because my bed time is at 7 45. I'll catch y'all tomorrow.
Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day three of three, and I'm currently in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm in the airport. So we got here a little bit early because it was Sunday, no traffic. But it's decided to stop by this place. It's called 365 Deli to get something to eat. And I'm trying a traditional Brazilian snack. So I think my speaker said it's called a coxinha. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name. So please forgive me. So I'm excited to try it. So let's go ahead and head to the gate. made it back to Atlanta. This was a good first experience. I definitely have to try to pick up more Brazil trips because after chatting with my crew, I have a grocery list of things that I want to pick up for next time. The biggest thing is sugar. I don't really bake or anything like that, but they told me that the sugar tastes so much better there. Some of the drinks that we had on the aircraft, which was their apple juice as well as their Coke, it definitely tastes different. I'm not a big soda drinker, but they were like, you probably don't drink soda, but definitely try the Coke. Definitely tasted different. The specific apple juice that we had on the aircraft, it just tasted. <sighs> I only drank a little bit because I didn't want to get hooked. <laughs> that was my initial thoughts. Really good crew. I need to learn the Portuguese alphabet so I'm able to communicate a little bit better. I am learning Spanish right now. It's not the same. Similar but not the same. So I need to learn the Portuguese alphabet or how to pronounce the alphabet in Portuguese. That's a better way of saying it. I'll be on the right track. It's currently 7.32 p.m. and we have sprung forward with daylight saving time. So it is not dark at 6 p.m. anymore. I'm super excited about it, but let's head home. Mm -hmm. 